What's up guys on YouTube, Bryce and Michael RC here and I've got something new that I want to show you guys today. I found this on Amazon and this is a PLA filament that I thought looks pretty fun. I'll show you, I'll, I'll leave a link to the description. I'll show you guys some of the other colors right here. You can do like the metallic colors, the copper, gold, and silver. Uh, they've got pink and green and, and all sorts of different colors. This is a shiny filament as I try to open it with one hand. It's a shiny filament. For three of them, it's $40. So I really want to see how good these filaments actually are. And so I've, I got the uh, group of three. Bam! It's from uh, Mica 3D is what it looks like. Let's turn this bad boy on here so we can see a little bit better. From Mica 3D. And it comes in one box. I got the red, white, and blue, so this silk white, silk blue, silk red. 500 milligram spool. Uh, my exacto knife is broken, but it's still got a sharp blade part on it, so I, I gotta find that sharp blade part. Alright, here we go. Alright, it's got three spools. Oh, and it came with some extra colors. Nice! That is awesome. They sent me some samples. So, I'll be doing some uh, stuff in these so I can show you these other colors that it comes in. So I can show you every color that they have in this shiny filament. That is awesome. So here's the rolls that you get here, and I'll compare this to a regular roll real quick. I've got some uh, a roll here, which this would come all the way up to here. Uh, and then this is a roll of this. So, looks quite a bit smaller. We can read on here, it says that it is a 0.5 kilogram spool. Yeah, 1.5 kilogram pack. One of these is one kilogram. Yeah, see, one kilogram. And all three of these together is 1.5 kilograms. So, it's actually $40 for the price of a, pound, of a roll and a half, basically. And then some extras. The red, white, and blue. Most I've spent on filament so far. No joke. Because I don't buy expensive filaments. Uh, but I'm going to make some small things uh, with these. And then... Uh, try to do some small stuff with these. They look like they're made basically for a pin. Uh, but I like these little sample things. And if anybody has been watching my videos for a while, you know that I, I like to do that thing where you, while the Bowden's extruder's going, I like to push in new colors and get multiple colors going. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely use these. I don't know how much is in here. But getting this little extra is nice. It's nice to have. So... I'm going to start extruding some stuff and we'll show you guys what these look like. If these would have been bigger, I'd have been a little bit happier with making some uh, a whole bunch of bigger uh, example pieces. But I think I'm going to have to make them really small. Because <laughs> I don't want to use too much because I'm going to actually use this filament for, for other stuff. Let's get on over to it. Let's show you guys some examples. So you can hear the printer going on behind me. I'm currently actually printing the top part of this. This is the final outcome of some of the samples. You can see the picture uh, right here of all the samples that they sent me, all the different colors. And I think I got to all but three of them. Here is the colors that I have left. So they sent me all of these colors, you can see how much each one of them was um, right here here and here uh, that's all from just this size it does that much so uh, I do have another 
print that ended up failing. That's right here. And it shows you the copper, the silver, and uh, kind of a greenish gold color here. I think that might be like a brass or some of some sort. Um, but that one failed. So that was going to use up the rest of them and use up this. Um, and I didn't use the blue one because I got a blue roll. Um, so I ended up using the blue roll because I had to go somewhere, and that's why there's so much blue on here. Because uh, each one of these was like 20 minutes a piece. So I had to be I had to be home to switch them out. And we had to go, and my son needed me to help him mow a yard. Uh, so we just I just put the blue one on, went there, and then as soon as I got back, I continued um, the process. Let me show you this without the light because it's so shiny with the light on that it's hard for my camera to focus. In fact, there's so much shine to it that it, this almost looks cartoony. But even with the light off, it attracts so much light. You can see how, just how shiny this is. Now, I think I've said that this is pearl filament, and I think that's what I thought it was, but it's actually considered silk filament. Um, so all these are considered a silk color, and they're just beautiful. I don't know if they're worth the price, but they are beautiful. And if you're wanting a finish that just has a specific finish color and, and is super shiny, um, this is the perfect filament to go with. I mean, if I, if I was making something for a loved one that was just going to be really nice and I wasn't going to paint it or anything afterwards, this is what I would print it out of. It's just a, it's a great filament too. I haven't had any problems with it besides that one fail. And that was my fault because since I have a Bowden extruder, all I was doing was following the lat the end of it. See, you can see how these are straightened out. So I've got a video showing how to do this where you just straighten out the sides and then you square up the end. But then as the one piece is running out, you just follow behind with the new piece and just send it on through the Bowden extruder. And if you know what you're doing, you can do a really good job like this. But I was in a rush and I was trying to push it through and it ended up getting jammed. And that's why this print failed. It wasn't because of the print itself. It was because of the switching out and such. Um, just ended up, you know, screwing up the print. Because it left like a, this is such a small print, it passed about three or four times before I finally got it to go through. That's how it was. And then it continued printing, kind of up like this. And when it started getting to the top, it started to focus more on this front part and put more force down and finally ended up breaking it. But the, you can see just how smooth this is. This filament went through the inner cubic got through mega just perfectly. And because of the shine, you don't hardly see any of the filament lines. This is on a 0.15 millimeter layer height. And so you should be able to see those filament lines really, really well. As it got more to the top, and it might be because of these colors, I'm not exactly sure, but it started doing this weird thing. I tried to turn the temperature down to see if that uh, helped the effect or not, and it did a little bit because I turned the temperature down right about here, and then you don't see any from here to here with this new color. Um, so I'm gonna work a little bit on that. There's two different colors of gold. You can see the gold here, so in real life, as I'm viewing it, I can't hardly tell the difference between these two colors. But on camera, it's actually picking up the two different colors, so that's awesome. Um, and I didn't know which one was the actual gold. I think this is the gold that comes with the silver and copper, but it might be this one. I'm not 100% sure. You can look on the link that I'm going to provide to Amazon and go check these out. Each roll is only a 0.5 kilogram spool, and so you get about a roll and a half. For $39 so it's kind of inexpensive I say kind of inexpensive there's there's a lot more expensive rolls there's like $30 for one kilogram roll I mean there's there's all sorts of different filaments and stuff so in some cases this might be considered budget uh, in my case it's not because I make cosplay stuff so I don't usually I don't ever need shiny materials like this because a really cheap um, filament that's even a filament that's not very good I'm going to be smoothing it down and putting Bondo and all that different stuff in it anyways that um, it's not really necessary for me. So something like Solotech PLA or the Amazon Basic is perfect for me and it's super cheap. So what, when I pay $40 for 1.5 kilograms 
a filament that's kind of expensive for me. Um, but, as I was saying, if you're wanting to create a 3D print that's just the print itself without any post-production stuff, this is an awesome filament. And I had so much fun with it too. And this, this is a six hour print here. Each one of these colors took about 20 minutes. This is how much they gave me. If, if I wouldn't have left this blue on, it would have taken up the rest of my, um, it would have taken up the rest of my samples. So this is how much extra they gave me for free. All these sample pieces, a six hour print. So six hours extra in printing. And if anybody out there knows, six hours is, is a pretty good amount of filament, <laughs> especially to get for free, you know. And this had uh, supports inside here, and it had supports going from, from the ground up to here. So it wasn't a whole lot of supports. Uh, printed at, I said, 0.15 millimeter layer height, but it was also printed with a 3% infill and a 3% um, support. So probably, if, if you're wanting this exact print itself, the OK symbol, um, if you're wanting this exact print itself, I would suggest actually going in and putting more, about a 5% infill, because I got to the top, and there's a little bit of a hole. I've been having trouble all day to try to get this thing to focus, because this silk um, is so shiny. There we go. Now you can see it. A couple little holes in the top there. Um, so I'd suggest put, there's a better angle right there. I would suggest putting, if you're going to do this print ever, put a little bit more support, maybe a 5%. I use as, the least amount of support as I can because I want to use uh, less plastic. And models generally do, I would say, and I, and I joined a new 3D printing, a couple new 3D printing Facebooks. One's just 3D printing, the other one is uh, 3D printing STLs on Facebook. And I've told a lot of people when they ask questions about uh, the settings that I have and stuff, I tell people all the time, one of the biggest mistakes beginners make is they put the, they keep the, the infill at whatever the infill is set for their program um, regularly. So on Cura, I think it's at like 10% or 15%. That's way too much infill, way too much. And it'll use a lot of plastic. So, I usually don't generally go more than five. If I really, really, really need the support because of something, I'll put it up to six to eight. If I really, really need it, um, five, I'll go to five on, on a lot of bigger stuff sometimes. Uh, but generally, because of the cosplay, and, and most of my stuff is like this, where it's just walls and stuff, you don't need more than, more than two, three percent. Um, same with the support. I usually only go about 3% on the support unless I really need the support in specific places. Uh, then I'll go and put the support at about, you know, 8% or something like that. Because the way that I look at it is the infill is basically support on the inside of the model. So, just a little tip for you guys. I really, really like this filament though. I really do. And I think that if I was going to spend more on a filament and get a filament to, you know, that... You, maybe you want to make owls or maybe you want to do what I do sometimes and make owls for you know a loved one or something that's just going to go on an end table or something like that as decoration and stuff this is an awesome filament especially for like hobbyist people who have like classical de decor and stuff you can and, and another thing too if you were doing like some circuitry you know, some imaginary circuitry for like cosplay and stuff like that, uh, where you needed a metal, metal look and you didn't want to paint it or anything like that. Um, this is, these are really good golds. I mean, I think that's the best gold that I've, and I've ordered other golds, golds in Solotech. I've ordered gold in about three or four different filaments. And when it comes to gold, it's usually just too bland and stuff. And I think, look at that silver there. How that silver just shines. You don't even, you won't need to add paint to that. Or how that copper, that copper is just amazing. That's awesome. And that gold is just, that's cool. I got the back of this model real quick. It's just, it's just really, a really good color. Even these other colors are really good. 
I mean, I like this. It just stands out. It's in your face. I love these silk ones. So I'm glad that I bought it. I really am. I, I typically get budget because I don't really need stuff uh, of this kind. But I'm probably going to print a few things that are just non-post-production stuff. Uh, just, just so I can use this on some really good prints that I'm going to just have setting out or something. It's so shiny that you can't really see the filament lines that well. I mean, it even feels super smooth. It's a really good filament. It prints really well. Um, so unless you get something like this going on, if you can get it this smooth, you can use that. And that color is never going to fade. You're never going to be able to scratch it off or damage it or anything like that. So if you can print something that's in the correct color, then do it. And if you want gold, I think this is really the only option that you can go if you want to get metallic colors. Because I've tried other metallic colors and they don't come close to this silk. I would say everybody should buy at least one roll of this silk Mica 3D filament. I really do. I, I really think you should buy at least one roll of it in a color that you may need, like a metal. Like maybe the, the silver right here, this color. Because if you're cosplaying like I do, you're going to need that color. I think I'm going to go in and order one, one roll of this just to have it for whenever I need to do small little pieces. And that's going to save me from having to bondo uh, small pieces, sand small pieces, and then find the right paint. If I would have done that Captain America shield in this, that would have been, that would have been awesome. Um, anyways, that's my review for this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I would suggest going out and buying a roll of it at least. I think on Amazon it only comes in three rolls at a time. Uh, you might want to try to check out Micah 3D's website or something. If they have a website, I'm not 100% sure. Um, there's got to be somewhere where you can buy it one roll at a time. I just haven't done that much research. I just kind of stumbled over these. Thought they looked pretty cool and ordered them. And when they came in, I seen how shiny they were. I was like, and seen all the the uh, samples that they gave me, and just decided, you know what, I'm gonna do a review on this just to see how it turns out. And it's it's literally one of my favorite filaments already. Uh, is it worth the price? Not for me. Not for me. Not for cosplay and stuff like that. It's too, too expensive uh, for doing what I do for the post-production and everything. But if you're not doing cosplay, not doing the post and you're not doing post-production and stuff and you need a filament color, this is great. This is a great filament. I would suggest you get it. Get your hands on it quick. Print with it. You're going to love it. You really are. It's a very, very good filament. And I don't say that about much filaments. I don't go on and on about how great of the filament it is itself because most PLAs react and act exactly the same coming out of an extruder. Um, my name is Bryce Michael RC. Like I said, go out, go out and get you at least one roll of this. Just play around with it. It's, it's awesome. It's a great filament. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.